So part nine of our uh, videos will be um, putting windows in the house. We haven't put any windows yet. We just have the the uh, sliding glass doors for now. So let's go ahead back to the um, house plan. You might normally put your windows in when you do your doors, but uh, we're going to do it now. So looking at our, our floor plan, we're going to go back and um, look at some of our windows. Now you can see we have windows in the family room. Uh, one in uh, each bedroom. This will have a double window in the master suite and there's a big window in the front of the house. So uh, from just the floor plan we all we can tell is kind of the how how much length the, the window has and where it goes but we don't really know where um, where are the, the actual style of the window. So what we're gonna do is uh, go to our window tools and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and make a window here the one in the family room and then I'm going to go ahead and look at my elevation and find out um, what kind of window we need that's the wrong side of the house so uh, here we go and this is a window and you see it's just um, a window with a kind of a split in it um, along the middle that's that's called a light and we'll talk about that in a second and um, we don't have actual, uh, you know, exact dimensions. Uh, I will tell you that most of the windows are either three or four foot wide. And uh, as far as length, well, one thing we can determine right here is this, that if this uh, one measurement we see right here is eight foot, we can see that, uh, you know, it's more than halfway. So this is probably uh, about a, a five foot by three foot window. And that's what we're going to go with. So what I do is I hit the space key and I'll just double click on the window. And you can see this window doesn't match the one in the picture. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our window, um, well, we'll go with four foot right now. Let's just do this. This is 60 inches in, in height. And right now it's four foot wide. This looks like it's um, a little bit narrower than that. Let's try 36 and see what that looks like. Okay. It's probably a little more accurate. Um, as far as the, the lights go, we click down here where it says L-I-T-E-S. This is going to be the little um, separations. If I just hit one and one, it's going to give me uh, what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then we're going to go back in here, look at this floor. I'm going to go back to the floor plan view now. And in the floor plan view, we can see that the window is 14 feet to the front edge. So what I'll do is, um, that measurement is up right now, I'll just put 14 feet, and now you can see um, where the window comes to. Look at the floor plan, I'm pretty sure that that 36 inch width was the, the proper um, size based upon where it ends up, you know, according to the other dimensions. So that was a 3 foot by 5 foot window. Um, other windows we need to do, um, we need to do the uh, these two windows in the back which I believe they're going to be the same windows as that one so a little trick is I can just take that window while it's um, selected hit control C for copy and then control V and then I can click right in this wall and then hit control V again and click right in this wall. Now we put our two windows in I'm going to go back and look at the actual uh, measurements on those windows it looks like it is um, from this edge to this edge 11 foot 4 but remember, that's a three-foot window. So, so because we don't have the measurement to this edge, all we have to do is simply take away three feet from this, which will make it instead of 11 foot four, eight foot four four. So I'll click right here and type in eight foot four. Enter. Now that window's in the right place, and then um, we're going to look at the other one now, which that one is eight feet from this edge to that side of the window. So um, I'll just click this window now, try to get the outside edge so the measurement will come out here, and I want that to be 8 feet, and now that window is in the right place. Moving on, uh, we have a window right here in bedroom 4, it's the same kind of window, so we can go ahead and control V paste again, and I'll just put that window in there, then we'll have to look at some dimensions. It looks like uh, 17 feet 4 inches to the edge of that window. I can see that mentioned right here. So 
clicking on the window. 17 feet 4 inches. Enter. Okay, that window's in the right place. Now, this next window you see is is wider, and uh, what I'm going to do is go go ahead and uh, look at the elevation that shows it, and that is it. This is the window we're doing, and what this calls. See how it's double thick in the middle. This is what we call a mold uh, window, which means you take two of these windows and just kind of stack them right next to each other and put some uh, some uh, weather stripping between them. So we're gonna um, we're gonna go ahead and do that. So we're gonna take that same window we had. I'm gonna paste, and I'm gonna paste again, and then we're going to um, put those windows together and um, look at the measurement. And it looks like. Um, We'll have to add these two together to get that. First thing I'm going to do is take these two windows and just kind of push them together. When you do that, they uh, they will be what we call mold. And, and then we're going to um, come back over here. It looks like it's 19 feet 6 plus 10 feet, which would be 29 feet 6 inches to the outside edge of this. So um, we're going to have to do some adding or subtracting to, to get it right. So um, easy way to do this, just get out your handy dandy calculator. And then we have uh, 16 feet plus uh, this door is 3 feet. Whoops. Plus 3. Plus uh, you have what you want is well you want this measurement to the far end which is 29 feet 6 to this end so 29 feet 6 you'll subtract 6 for the width of the window which will make it 23 feet 6 so 23 feet 6 is what you want total to this edge right here so right now we're at uh, that's 19 feet so this measurement will determine it so we want 23 feet 6 so we have 19 so we need to get whatever, figure out whatever that number is right there. So to go to, um, 23 feet 6, we'll have to add 4 feet 6 to this measurement right here. Right now it's a 5 foot 4. So we'll put, um, 4 feet 6 inches. And then what we can do is, I got that met, that window in place, and I can just move the other one so they're touching, and then uh, they'll be in the right place. So, let's uh, look at the full overview and see how our uh, windows look so far. So those all look good, and you can compare if you want to go, you know, look at your elevations and, and see. We didn't do the front one yet, but that's what we're looking at right now. So, looks looks right. We can move it around, and... Okay, we see this one. I can go to, um, and that looks right. And um, of course, we have the back, or the, I'm sorry, the other side, which is this side. Let me turn this around and look something like this. So so far, we're matching up very well with our elevations. Um, and now we have to do this front window. Now the front window. Let's go back to our uh, floor plan. It's a little bit different. It's got what we call a broken arch on it, and um, so we're going to um, we're going to make a window. This window is is fairly big. Uh, if you look at the measurements next to it, um, it it's in the neighborhood of uh, of six feet by six feet. It's a it's a big window, and um, so let's go ahead and start with that. I go back to my floor plan. Just put a window in. And then I'm going to um, double click on the window, change some dimensions. So my width is going to be 60 inches, which is, I'm sorry, 72 inches, which is 6 feet. And then um, if you look at the proportions right now, it looks like it needs to be um, at least 72 tall. And um, the other thing about it is, it needs to have a kind of a rounded top, but not perfectly round. So it has what we call broken arch. So we're going to go down to the arch tab, and instead of no arch, we're going to click broken arch. We want to break that arch. Let's try 10 inches. See how that looks. 
So that's pretty good on the shape. Um, the lights are not right. You can see that um, we need more. So we're going to go to lights. And let's go with 6 and 2. And that should be about right. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And that window should be um, correct now. We need, still need to do some dimensions. So let's go back to our floor plan view. And we see that that window is supposed to be three feet in inches from that wall. So I'm just going to click three feet eight, enter. And now, looking at our full overview, we should have uh, everything we everything we need. Let me go to this um, elevation. I might have to um, raise that wall uh, that window up a little bit. It looks a little bit low. So uh, I'm just going to double click on it and um, floor to bottom is at 8 inches. Let's make that more like 12 inches. And that brings it up a little bit. I think that's uh, about right. Uh, one more thing we haven't added as far as windows goes. There should be a window that's right next to this door. And that's a window you might use to, uh, to look at if somebody knocks on your door to see who it is or whatever. And also allow some natural light into the house. Pretty common thing. And to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to make a window right next to this door. So I click on windows and I'll make that but then I'm going to double click on the window and I'm going to make this window only 12 inches wide and what I want to do is click on fixed glass and um, I don't want any lights so I'm just going to type in one and one it gives us just a solid um, solid window. I think I'm going to um, not use the exterior sill which will make it a little bit cleaner in the in the um, the molding and I'm just gonna push it right up against that door and then just look at our 3d view and see what we have and we have to do some um, adjusting because we know that this door if I double click on it it's 80 inches in height so we want this window to match it so we want this height to be 80 which is 6 foot 8 click OK and now um, your window should match your door and it does so we're gonna go ahead and click um, we're gonna be done with all of our windows now so this concludes the uh, video on windows